Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. We're still rocking out Star Wars month and we... So, Force Lightning. Yeah. In order to do this effect, you'll need two things. Some footage of you faking the lightning and some good old After Effects. In this episode, we'll just be creating the lightning. I'll cover how to animate it in a future episode, as I'm trying to keep these episodes from getting too long. It's bite-sized training, guys. Kind of like those fun-sized candy bars. You finish it, and you always want a little more. So here we are in After Effects. Let's create a new comp in Full HD at 1920 by 1080 with a time of 5 seconds and hit OK. We'll head up to Layer and add a new solid and make it black. Next, we'll head up to Effect, Generate, and click Advanced Lightning. And there's the lightning bolt. Man, that was easy. Good job, Grant. Yeah, if only. We've got a couple more steps, people. Let's get going. Time to tweak those settings within the effect. Change the lightning type to strike, change the forking to 60%, the turbulence to 2, decay to 0.35, and check composite on original. From there, we'll head to glow settings and turn the opacity down to zero. Hey, don't freak out. We'll bring it back later. Just calm down, okay? Now that you're calm, we're gonna add an adjustment layer. And with that selected, let's head up to Effect, Distort, and Turbulent Displace. We'll set the amount to 90, the size to 4, and hit the stopwatch on Evolution. Head to the end of the comp and throw on an evolution of 1. This will give it a little bit of movement throughout the animation. After that, we'll head back up to Distort, add a Wave Warp. Next, set your Wave Height to 3, your Wave Width to 50, and hit the stopwatch on Phase, Head to the end of the clip again and type in minus two. This adds a little bit more of an organic feel as well. Okay, now that that's out of the way, head back to our lightning layer and get a little electrified. Hit the stopwatch on conductivity state, head to the end of the clip and key in 35. Now it's starting to look cool, eh? But we ain't there yet, so keep your pants on. If you don't have pants on and you're watching this, well you get your own set of issues. Next, we're gonna add another adjustment layer and actually name this one for a change. We're gonna call it Glow 1. From there, we'll head up to Blur and Sharpen and add a fast blur. We're gonna check Repeat Edge Pixels and change the blurriness to 8. We'll then hit Control D on the keyboard and duplicate this three times. I know it looks weird, but have a little faith. On the second layer, we'll change the blur to 16. On the third, we'll change it to 32. And on the fourth, let's just get nuts and hit 180. Now here's the reveal. Select all four layers and change the transfer mode to screen. And BAM! Remember when I said we get that glow back? Well there it is. Now let's add some color. Add yet another adjustment layer, go to color correction and hit color balance. This is the part where you can get creative guys. I usually say change the settings to what works for you, but if you want this effect to look awesome, stick to the numbers I've told you absolutely. As for me, I'm using these color settings. I'm going to set my mid-tone blue to 100, my mid-tone green to 35, my highlight green to 20, and my highlight blue to 100. I'll check preserve luminosity, and that's it. The end result should look like this. Now I know this was a longer episode than we used to guys, but this effect has a lot of steps in it to make it look great. That said, it's still not hard, and we aren't using anything outside of After Effects. So tune into the second part in a few days, and we'll be compositing and animating our lightning into some footage. We've still got another three weeks left in Star Wars month, guys, so get those requests in. Here's the Twitter, here's that subscribe button, and those buttons down there near the play bar, they're the like and share buttons. And as always, guys, keep learning.